I'm with Wendy Cooper with Millspec Manufacturing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wendy, what does your business do? Uh, Millspec Manufacturing is a contract engineering company. Uh, we do a lot of work within the defence and government sector. The local chamber in Coral, of which you're both with, um, that plays a, a, an important role for the community, doesn't it? We try to. Um, we're finding that business is very tired and lacking enthusiasm and a lot of small business in the rural area is ageing so that people are looking at wanting to get out but no one's encouraged to come and buy into small business in the country so there's a real transitional phase that's quite of concern. I'm a local real estate agent, I've got my own business, I've been in business here for uh, nine years now. We have um a lack of access to skilled labour we have, and to compound that a lack of access to quality training so that's become a big issue for us particularly at the moment we're unable to recruit some for some positions and um, uh, yeah costs of the business probably rising access to finance has been an, an issue for us as well we like to see some sort of a cut in all the paperwork and red tape that small business has to go through I think the hours that we put in Um, sort of unproductive to us but meeting our commitments uh, with all all the paperwork we have to get through is just horrendous. Also being on the border here is another uh, issue in itself with uh, licensing. Just in my industry with real estate we do have the tendency to cross into Victoria as well and so the national licensing uh, with agents as well that's pushing through at the moment but it's going at a really slow pace so uh, that involves trying to work out about uh, training standards and, uh, and and licensing levels for each state as well and bring them into a national uh, perspective so everyone's on the same playing field. More particularly, I understand the legislation that the current federal government introduced over the last three years that has really made being a financial planner very difficult and as a small business financial planner we're actually witnessing the end of an industry because it made the um, the red tape so difficult that basically the big banks and the insurance companies will end up being the only providers of financial planning services into the future. I think the economy is the big thing. Um, people are sitting on their hands a little bit waiting for the election to arrive. We need to swing the balance back in favour of the small business people so they actually can have a life and they actually can then be more profitable to reward their employees and then they can employ more people. So everyone wins at the end of the day and we have to make sure that these type of things are ever present and always in the face of the uh, politicians. All of our members are small businesses. We're all trying to get out there to survive and um, make make some dollars and have a little bit of fun perhaps. (laughs) But sometimes it's very hard to do that. But as long as you keep smiling, um, shortly it'll be spring so hopefully that'll make things better.